of you know, I'm really into sports. I love playing football and basketball, still do, but I haven't been able to play much recently. In fact, a lot of things have changed for me since I found out that I have cancer. Well, had. Better now. But I know a lot of you have been wondering what was up with me. Even my best mates, who have visited me in the hospital all the time, have been confused and worried, and I don't blame them. I was confused and scared too, until some new friends of mine explained exactly what cancer is. They helped me to understand, and now they're gonna help you. Everyone say hello to the Medi Kids. Um, did aliens just teleport into our classroom? Yes, this is the best day ever. They have a robot in every movie ever. The robot goes crazy. Is no one else worried about that? So cancer starts in a damaged cell, just like this one. Ah, I don't think it looks damaged. I think it's cute. If you think one of me is cute, then you'll love a hundred of me. What's happening? Well, in cancer, damaged cells in the body start to behave badly. As you may have noticed, the cells start dividing out of control, making more and more damaged cells. We noticed. Luke, your brother has weird friends. Mmm, look at me. I'm on top of the world. Hello, fishies. These badly behaved cells come together to form a lump called a tumor. Tumors can be benign or malignant. Cells in a benign tumor keep to themselves and don't bother the other cells around them. Shh, do you mind? We're trying to read. Malignant tumors are cancer and cause trouble to the cells around them. They can also spread to other parts of the body, causing trouble there too. Ew, gross. Box, box, box. Where's the fun stuff? Books are boring. Cancer can happen in different parts of the body. It can occur in organs like the kidney or brain. It can also occur in the blood cells in the bone marrow. Yeah, we get around. Um, who gets cancer in the first place? I'm going to braid your hair. Do you know how to do that? I know how to tie knots. Same thing, right? Anyone can get cancer. Although it mainly occurs in adults, young people and children, and even babies can get cancer too. Hey, hands off the goods. Thanks. Most of the time, the cause of childhood cancer is unknown, but research is being done to find out more. We do know that you can't catch cancer and that it is never anyone's fault. Ow! Didn't your mother teach you not to throw living creatures? You're just jealous of my sweet moves. You know an apple a day won't really keep me away. You can't stop me! Oh, so how does one get rid of cancer? Great question. Well, thanks to medical research, doctors now have tons of different treatments available. The exact treatments depend on the type of cancer and where it is. One treatment is surgery. Surgery can be used to cut out cancer. Depending on how big the cancer is, where it is, and whether it has spread, the doctors might be able to remove it. But not all cancers can be removed. Uh-oh. Chemotherapy, or chemo for short, uses medicines to destroy cancer cells. I'm melting, melting. Radiotherapy is another treatment. It uses powerful energy beams to kill the cancer cells. Awesome. Get him, Alex. Immunotherapy helps your immune system fight the cancer cells. Great. Just when the book was getting good, I'm going to be blown up. So typical. Sometimes a combination of treatments is used. The medicines can also damage healthy cells, causing side effects like hair loss, nausea, and changes to your blood. I'm feeling a little nauseous myself. Ah, the last cancer cell. A stem cell or bone marrow transplant might be needed for some children with cancer. No! A bone marrow transplant is when the body is restocked with good cells to replace destroyed cancer cells. This boost of healthy cells means that you can get higher doses of chemotherapy that can increase the chance of destroying more cancer cells. I'm here and ready to work! The last of the cancer cells are gone. Nice work! That was so cool! Way to go, Alex! The Medikids are awesome! This is one of the few times that I found school fun! I know you all feel relieved now that the cancer cells are gone. It's how I felt after my treatment too. But even when treatment is finished, it's not always super happy times. Some kids, including me, had side effects from treatment. 
and these can make you feel less than terrific. The only good thing I got was to skip washing my hair for a while. There's also the scary feeling that the cancer might come back. I worry about that sometimes. But I've got a great hospital team that still gives me regular checkups. And there are researchers working hard to find better treatments with fewer side effects. The best advice I can give is to let people know how you are feeling. Be sure to talk to your friends and family and let them be there for you. Remember, you're not alone. Alex, mate, we knew you were sick, but didn't know how sick until now. Yeah, we're really glad you're feeling better. And know that whatever you need, we're here. You guys stuck by me when I was sick. You are real friends, and that's all I need. That's the bell. School's out. Did I say all I needed was good friends? I meant good friends and video games. Come on. Well, I think our work here is done. Wait, you can't leave. My classroom's a mess. Yes, but your students learned a lesson they will never forget. So, you're welcome. Get us out of here before she makes us clean. I'm on it. Teleporting now. <laughs>